Oh, my God. Happy Halloween. I think I've seen you on social media. Yeah, I'm glad you Mark. Yeah. You brought down the house. Yes. In this world, all you need to be focused with is being a lover. Think about the fundamentals. Yeah. Think about the fundamentals. The fundamentals are from the building blocks of life, and I mean the smallest aspects. You've got atoms, you've got the tiniest molecules that you could ever imagine. We know that we still have so much more work to do and that while we are failing to do it because we're too busy fighting our senseless civil war when actually both sides and all sides of America want this future we're talking about right here. Well, in the meantime, we have China who is working on precisely that technology. Should they bring in the technological singularity before America does, which we will be talking about in this campaign, then America will atone for that in ways that we are not prepared Prepare to my fellow Americans take that as a warning. It is the truth, and it is a humble truth. It is a holy truth, and it is the only truth. Hello, good evening. I am Keith Landy, your happy healer for President of the United States. All right, we're getting ready to go into the meeting here. This is for the transportation town hall. Thank you. The final and the last one, it looks like, and the last, we say the last, the best is for last, and that is Mayor. Thank you for showing up. I am your happy healer, Keith Landy. I'm right here in Orlando, Florida. I wanted to be last because I'm actually running for president of the United States. Thank you. And if you get a chance, go to happyhealerforpresident.com. Happyhealerforpresident.com. And thank you, Mayor. In this world, all you need to be focused with is being a lover. It feels like everything I do is just a different way than how people are running their campaigns. So, so it's easier to just do this. More relaxed now. Yeah. And to just have those moments and they, and it makes me feel better. You know? And then I don't feel like I'm defying what I'm supposed to be doing. All right, yes, be sure to. Oh, I'm, I've got all my heart into it, so we're going to do something with it if we can, for sure. I want to take a picture with you. Def funny. Definitely. You just cut everybody like That's right. Your comments were great. Yeah, you all did a great job talking about our community. Yeah, because it's true. They got to finish one thing, right? That's right. The first president. <laughs> That's right. You shot everybody. We're like... Thank, Thank you. you. God bless you. Okay. And check it out, happyhealerforpresident.com. Yeah. My name's Keith Landy, but I take my happy healer journey very seriously. When you go on the site, you'll see why. Front. And I've got a plan, just like Senator Warren says. I don't think she has a plan for me, however. But I do have a plan. And um, it's a wonderful plan. And so many people like SAG After, the Screen Actors Guild, has actually picked up my message and has sent out a tweet endorsing me, an unknown, a relative unknown, out of over, like you said, 800 candidates running for president. This evening, I had a great time together with my friend Al. We went out to the meeting for transportation right here in Orlando, Florida with Mayor Demings. And we also had about 200 local Orlando folks that were there and we were able to talk about my candidacy for which I am so grateful for having been able to have done because I have been working so hard, working my happy healer heart out, talking about things that are so important to our country in the future 
future of our people, the future of our lives, our very salvation. And it means so much to me, as I know it does to you as well. We address the actual issues that our country is facing instead of all of the discombobulation, disunity, danger, might I add, danger. This disunity, civil disunity, is causing our country to become bursting at the seams. We can't take too much of that anymore. So follow your happy healer in this campaign. Listen to the things that I am saying. Hear me out. Give me a chance. Hey, yes. And I've lived in Orlando for 13 years, and I would appreciate you checking out and getting more familiar with who I am. I am. That's because, why I asked you Yeah, because you know what? I would love to, even if you had some time, like now you're doing your thing. Hi, Mayor Dennings. Actually, I would love an opportunity to talk to you about our city. We're going to be talking to so many people around this country in this campaign. And one of the messages that I have for Americans is be prepared to do such hard work of lifting our own cities up. We are going to build our cities into superstructures just like the super consumer the American consumer will be with the landing presidency and more importantly the American ingenuity and the American exceptionalism unleashed. So you better believe Mayor Dennings, I'll be right here in Orange County with you, lifting folks up, lifting hearts up, lifting people up off the Thank streets you, and building our city one block at a time and, and that's right how we lead Orlando, from the front Florida. lines with the people showing them how it's done. And you sir have shown great leadership, showing example on how we can do that, how we can talk to people, and how we can bring people together based on ideas. So I look forward to doing that. And I am running as a Democrat because I believe in providing people in this and providing people with health care, and providing people full stop, all of their needs for that matter. I want to go full stop because I know we have to do it in order to achieve the new world of super consumerism. The if new world of technology, the new world of our enlightenment that will lift America and her people into a new age that we have long been promised as our fathers and mothers long ago had been told that by the time we were adults, we could have the benefit of living off of technology and that we can finally, and thank you, Mayor, fulfill our human destiny. That is such a big deal to know that we could finally fulfill our human destiny because unless we do that, we will never be able to deal with the biggest issues of our time that's plaguing the American spirit, such as the bigotry and the racism and the constant hell that we have to pay in this country that is ripping our fabric of America apart. So we have to be honest about what to do in order to atone that situation. I know that it will take working from the bottom up. That's why I am so serious about my candidacy. It does not matter that I come from the bottom. I have been through many perceptions within the American experience. As I told Mayor Demings, I am not your condescending candidate way up here. No, no, sir. I am your happy healer, your whole happy healer. I am your humble, happy, and whole happy healer for President of the United States. And that is because we have to be prepared to take on these issues, the American spirit being so sick, Mayor Dennings, I know you know what I'm talking about. The people that they are so at each other's throats. We are in a soft civil war by any intelligent person's fair and honest assessment. And in my campaign, I make that priority number one. We have to get to a unity in order to achieve anything. And Mayor Dennings, I know that you're a serious man as far as taking seriously the issues of our time in our county. So I commend you for that. And we have so much more. And don't you know, sir, that's all I plan to do as President of the United States. And I say over and over again, we all have purpose and value, and it starts from right inside, and that you're happy is a magical guy. I've been through so much. I don't lie about that. I am not a perfect candidate. And nor do you need to be a perfect candidate in order to serve the people at any level in this country. What you need to be is perfect of heart, virtue, and value. That's how it's done. So Mayor Demings, it was great to see you. And I'll be out and about in this town all the time, working hard, ever so hard, building this campaign. I appreciate every last bit of help I can get from all of my compatriots it's everybody in this town who wants to get involved with a campaign that will make a difference. Realize this is the campaign that's bringing people together, Democrats, Republicans, Independents, all Americans, so that we can actually deal with the problems in our country.
country and that we can actually deal with the continuity of life. Think about it, the kinds of issues we're dealing with that are fast approaching. We have to think about our families, our children, our futures. That's what I'm talking about. And that's why as running as a Democrat for president, I have and I take pride in the fact that I have had so many conservative backers. In fact, and indeed half of my backers right now are conservatives, Trump's people. I myself voted for Donald Trump in the last election. I can hold him to account as the Democratic nominee, and I assure you I would. He failed to deliver health care to the people. My mother died, my brother died, my father died, my sister-in-law died, all of them without adequate health care. And due to severe problems brought upon the American people through the leadership of these condescending candidates that have been exercising in greed. And folks, that is the biggest thing we have to acknowledge that greed has been a problem. That's why we in this campaign realize we have to put humanity first. And the only way to do that is to put humanity over capitalism. And so that's what we're doing, capitalism 2.0. The only way indeed to save capitalism, I contend. So again, this was a great opportunity, Mayor Demings, to get acquainted with you, sir, and in order to get out into the community and make more friends and realize, because I know that it takes a community to get anything done, and we in this American community are capable of so much when we are the American, all of us. We are serving for this nation. When I am your president of this country, I assure you, we are going to take care of the situation at hand. We can't allow greed. This problem has been infecting the soul of our people. We have to realize if we ever intend to get the magical aspects of our human spirit out and about so that we can love and be free in that love, we have to get to love, I contend, and we can. And that love is truth and love is pure love. And I break that down in my campaign because you might think it's simple, but it's not. And it's at the heart of our problem. We have to get away from that hate everybody's exercising, away from that disunity, and towards love. And with my leadership, I know that we'll do exactly that. And I live in a magical world. And before I allow you or anybody else to pull me out of that magical world, mind you, I'm in Orlando, that's home of Disney World, you better believe the city beautiful, the city magical of Orlando, Florida, with your humble and whole happy healer for president, will not leave his magical world, but instead bring this country into into the magical world of the happy healer and get our people loving and let's move on to happier, brighter times because and I contend this country needs a happy healer. God bless you and God bless America and Jerry, I'll see you soon, sir. I'd love if you had some time to meet you, if that would be possible because I would like to talk to you more about my plans. I'm a humble guy and I don't have a card on me. But I'm like, you gotta, you gotta go hard, I gotta get a card. Let me tell you, I know I'm running for president of the United States. I don't have a card. Let me tell you. But I'm a very humble guy, Mayor. It's not about being somebody way up here. We have our condescending yeah, candidates. Call you. Yeah, that's true. We, we're gonna need that, so we'll take care of that. But I want you to seriously take me serious. Just because I'm a humble guy and from down here, it doesn't matter. I've got the heart of gold. I've got humility. That's fine. You need all that you to do anything. You graduated from uh, the university? No, here, sir. From no. high school here? Yeah, I went 13? to I went to Valencia, but I was in my business as an entrepreneur. And then I came out of that and went on a spiritual what journey. What kind of business? Transportation. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm pretty well, good on this. Well, you're yeah. transportation. I know all about transportation, the oh, charter buses and good, good. all that good stuff. All right, man. Yeah, man. So I got to talk to all these people. I'm going to so reach out to you. Next time, bring your car. Fine, I'm going to reach out to your office, sir. Not everything I say you're going to understand right off the bat, but I assure you that everything I say equals just right for what you want and that it is just right for a unity that can be sustained in this country and is just right for the growth of our families, for the future safety of our families, for our country to be prosperous, for the American dream to be true again, for the American people in the largest ways possible to deliver on the plan of love. My fellow Americans, it's time and love in action and for anybody who's familiar with how well love solves issues and for those people who have been experiencing God's almighty miraculous words of hope and you know those words then you know that doing things with greed is the reason why we're all suffering so much but yet that if we do things for humanity we can actually serve both the cause to 
people who love God Almighty as well as the cause to people who just love life and love humanity. They want to see humanity cared for. They want to get racism taken care of and bigotry taken care of. They know we can do this stuff and that it's within our capacity to be able to do it. They know that. Hi, how are you? Keith. Hey, oh my god. The happy you. I think I I've seen you on social media. Yes. You know? I have been making a big push on social media. Yeah. I'm so excited, you know, I've been in my own little happy healer world. Yeah. But I have to come out more in the community. You make people? Yeah. They're so great. No, yeah. it's a pleasure. Thank you. I, I don't need to be a brought them up here, but we want to, you know, otherwise people can't get, you know. I loved it. I just went last. I figured that'd be great. <laughs> and I could talk forever, so no, I have I really to be careful to just, you, you know. I'm glad you edited your remarks. Yeah. You brought down the house. Yes, so. yes. A great way to end things yes. on a positive. Individually, we have all been growing so much and in such powerful ways. But as a collective, we are so incredibly sick. And I contend it will take somebody from the bottom such as your happy healer who can gain the vote of confidence of his compatriots who can fill this need at a time when america needs it most and who can respond to this calling that's why i'm here so when i had a chance to stand up in front of my friends right here in orlando together with mayor demings i felt completely compelled in the moment to do exactly that as well as i felt welcomed by mayor demings thank you for that and i have some great footage that that I would like to share with you from this evening and the opportunity that I had to shake Mayor Deming's hand and that we talked about the transportation conditions in this city and that so many of the local Orlando residents came out to talk about their opinions as to what we should do to solve this city's crises. And together we came out to discuss what we should do for this city's transportation problems. But remember, this country is having problems too, my fellow Americans. This country, my fellow Orlandoans. This country is having problems and we need to address these issues. I'm prepared to do that as your next president. I will earn your confidence. No, I'm not a typical politician. Not at all. Like, you already know what I am. I am your happy healer for president, Keith Landy. I come to you as a whole person, yet a humble person, in the cause of freedom and self-determination. My mission is clear. I want a happy, safe world so that my magical world is safe in it. And it just so happens, all of our worlds will be safe in it and we'll all be better off for it because we get to grow as a people. It has been so long since our last spiritual awakening, our age of enlightenment that happened several hundred years ago and was the culmination of which resulted in our current industrial revolution that led to the technological revolution we are going through now. And yet we are so far from the promise that we were given then. We know that we still have so much more work to do and that while we are failing to do it because we're too busy fighting our senseless civil war when actually both sides and all sides of America want this future we're talking about right here well in the meantime we have China who is working on precisely that technology should they bring in the technological singularity before America does which we will be talking about in this campaign then America will atone for that in ways that we are not prepared to my fellow Americans take that as a warning it is the truth and it is a humble truth it is a holy truth and it is the only truth because we are busy fighting with each other in a discombobulated state disunity and incivility we are losing our minds insanity is taking over our people and it's time to step back that's why i contend as your happy healer for president i am prepared to do exactly that mayor demings thank you for giving me your time today sir it is an honor and pleasure and distinct privilege to have been able to meet you and shake your hand i intend on I'm leading should I have the distinct pleasure and privilege as president right here from Orlando Florida doing the hard work just like all Americans would need to do in order to build this country up in order to build our families up and in order to institute the great policies of the new age of the new world in America starting right here that we build and in this magical city of Orlando let it be the starting place together with your happy healer for president and Mayor Demings your story's in that too sir because you're right here in Orlando and I appreciate you being nice to me today and I'll be reaching out to more people and I'll ask for your kindness as well and you'll always have my love honesty and I'll always be an honest broker of truth I am NOT a perfect candidate I never came to you as being perfect I never promised perfection instead 
instead I said I love and I am proud of my love candidate and I know that that will fix all of our issues and that instead love together with honesty is all we should ever expect of a candidate because when we expect and demand perfection all we ever get is so far from it and because we're living in a greedy world greed corrupts what we get are the best liars so you ask for perfection my fellow Americans and what you ended up with was a perfect liar I say let's put the past behind us let's move on to a bright new happy healer magical from Orlando future and let's get on the book to prosperity the kind that we can all be so proud of love together in and do together in and prosper together in and we shall all deal with and atone to America's greatest disaster it has ever faced. All of them virtually coming in the next 10 years. And I contend there's at least on 10 different fronts disasters ranging from nuclear proliferation to China and their technological revolution while we fight a civil war which also happens to be another one. We have global warming. We have and this list just continues to go on and I'm sure you can add many of your own. So I will leave you with this. Realize our times count on serious people, not politics. Real answers. Real honest pro of truth that can say to you listen to the truth coming out of my mouth is that the truth that you see good confirm because it's also the truth I see and if we don't do something about it we are getting ready to lose our very way of lives so we're very serious about that task ahead and I Keith Lane as your happy healer for president has a charge to keep and I intend to keep that charge thank you good night and God bless you Mayor Demings we'll see you soon because, in all honesty, I mean, if we went to four lanes, why can't we have two turning lanes at one point instead of keeping us at the same spot? And that's all. I thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. The final and the last one, it looks like in the last, we say the last, the best is for last, and that is Mayor. Thank you for showing up. I am your happy healer, Keith Landy. I'm right here in Orlando, Florida. I wanted to be last because I'm actually running for president of the United States. And so, thank you. And if you get a chance, go to happyhealerforpresident.com. Happyhealerforpresident.com. And thank you, Mayor. Things on various different options, but you have. I like the magic one. I like it. It's pretty cool. Thirty minutes is what they say. So. Sorry. So now it's like. What it'll do? It's changing altitude, so like, let's say I walk around here. I shouldn't go in this guy's yard. I'm just trying to like go around a tree so it can show you. It's flying itself. This is AI in the year 2019, guys. Isn't that impressive? Now that's something that the uh, Mavic 1 don't do. So, I mean, how much skill do you need when it can fly itself? And it can do it backwards, too. And it watches itself. It's not going to hit something too much. I mean, it's pretty good. Oh, and while it's flying, it keeps you center frame. So, you know, let's say you're just making a movie. or You know, you can't always be. Sometimes you're the one that's in the movie. So you can't be flying. So, you know, maybe you can hand this off to a friend or put it down. Um, oh, and it varies. It can go back a bit further. Like, I brought it in so that it would follow me close distance in between obstacles. But you can actually track for that. You know? I mean, I've always been into the passion part of it. And, like, I could sit here and just on demand do things these guys with the licenses, they can't do. I have the Zoom, but no, this is not that one. Yeah, they sell the camera separate too now. Well, you can get the camera separate. The camera comes off and you can get insurance for 70 bucks through State Farm. Yeah. Because it gives you peace of mind when you're learning to fly. You know, so you can have the confidence to do, like, you know, cool stuff. And get the shots you want, you know. Plus, too, the uh, sunsets and the horizon is so amazing. And I could fly, I mean, like, you see... Yeah, you have to kind of get good for uh, doing manual orbits. Yeah. And now we got, and it's always good to have a spotter too. Because you never know what kind of trouble you can get yourself really into without somebody that kind of can uh, help you see what's going on. Yeah. He's, 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 He's,
Yeah. 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 Yeah, I edit on Final Cut Pro. Yeah, I like Premiere too, but um, Premiere's just a bit. I started on Final Cut Seven. Final Cut's just a simpler program, and and Apple's a little bit easier to deal with. Yeah, I mean PC's awesome, and but you know, so we'll just go between these two trees right here. I like getting low to the ground too sometimes. Shot, and then you can just kind of take it up. I'm actually a DJ. Okay, oh, what's cool. that? Oh, do you really? I want to get more in. Like, well, I already do the art and stuff, but I want to, like, literally, I'm so creative. I'm running for president out of my creativity, but also it's a real thing. It's a very real thing. I might actually become our next president. That's pretty cool. I mean, shit, I don't leave it to any one thing. I just enjoy life and do the things that I feel like doing, that's all. I think, I think that's the way we should all do. When it gets down to it, the brass tacks and things, we all pretty much want the same shit, you know? There's something, like, beautiful in the honesty of that, you know? Yeah. And I'll do the same thing right around us. That's how nice art would be, right? It's transitioning smoothly. That's what I'm serious about, is that art. Do I have a light on the bottom of that? Yeah. Did you put, you put it on there, or? Can it you? comes with it, uh, yeah. And you could, I uh... I put a light on mine, because the wind kept pushing it back. Yeah. And then I can, and I can, same day, it's all about Oh, I put mine up in a hurricane once. I almost lost mine. See, the thing about it is to have, there's like about four or five things that happens with drones, because you're not actually in the drone, and you could lose your... Connection or right. like there's little matter. things. If you lose the connection this one, it, you can it'll, it's still control. Yeah. But the phantom when that happened to me, you lose you don't see anything, you lose everything. Yeah. And this has some pretty good AI to it as well. AI is going through the roof. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, I don't do it a whole lot. Plus two, and I'm not sure. Like China's doing really good with the creativity of their products, but, but, and it's a big but. It's China, and they want to like get all your records and stuff. Oh, now I got on sport mode, so we'll come burning through hot. We'll come through burning hot right between those trees again. Ah. Hey, baby. You know, somebody's asked me, what advice can you give a 22-year-old guy who's working in this world who just wants to be able to get a life going that he can enjoy? He's a young guy and in this world, in this greedy world. What about for him? Because often he's the guy that's really most under attack in these ways. The greed presses on a man and it changes him in a way that makes him more aggressive towards greed. He feels he has the need and it's justified in order to provide for his family. That greed is the only way to get that done. It's a psychological condition that greed has on the hold of men. Women do. However, women are also nurturers of night life. However, that women are also nurturers of life means then that they are willing to go further in the process of life than men often are. They have that patience, which is always a virtue. They exercise that virtuous patience, often when men do not. Men are so impatient when it comes to certain things that makes women almost not just the nurturers by nature, but seemingly the nurturers by nature, mothers, women, And so this greed really makes it like that, doesn't it? Because we know that men can be sweethearts too. 
and that the best kind of man who has grown up to learn how to be a man, and I often say I'm a boy. Well, that's because I'm in touch with my childhood. And the best kind of men, I'm a 40 year old man. Think about that. I'm getting younger as all these other men are getting older. The best kind of man is in touch with his childhood and all of his emotions. He can deal with things. And he could do them right. And he can have a moral compass about how he does that. Instead, the way they do men these days is it's about fake toughness and very real greedy following. They make men followers and that's what about being a man is in 2019 and that's sad. It's masculinity has never been the thing that needs to be under attack. It's greed. Masculinity gives our women something to crave in men and gay men and it gives us the balance we need. Greed, on the other hand, gave us bigotry and racism and hell and no fun and so much pain and hell to pay. Where love gives us understanding, it gives us knowledge, it makes us better makes us better and that's so grand because when we become better then we learn and we become progressive and so in this campaign I am your most progressive candidate I bring God on for the trip trust me progressives in the future you love God and that we all have that freedom was built into our country and its founding, so let's not get scared about that. And that we all love life, and in this campaign, we have the ability to bring together, bring together Americans who love, they love God and they love life, and now they love each other in this campaign. And we get away from the incivility, unity and the soft civil war that is our discombobulated population in hateful action and greed we have a soft civil war we have to address that I will as your next president I promise you that because if I don't we will have more hell to pay and we have already paid enough so I shall take care of that. And one thing is, as you know, some of you who have been paying attention to the Happy Healer Evolution, thank you. I love you. And I care about you too. Well, we have this week went to go see Jerry Demings. He is the mayor of Orange County. And I live in Orange County. And I also am right next to the city of Orlando. I am basically in the city, geographically, uh, geographically, I am basically in this city. And the way they have it all written, it just puts me in the county. So, that's where I'm at. And Mayor Demings was amazing. I appreciated seeing him on Monday evening. And I'm sharing that with you. You'll like that. And it was a good opportunity to talk about things that are happening in our country and to bring people, ordinary citizens, together with the representatives and the government that represents them in their, even their own home cities. We have a lot of work to do. We have to get used to doing that kind of stuff. And so I loved it. And the next program that will be coming out is actually on... Mayor Demings. I'm feeling really good about the campaign. I really think we're going to get to be able to do this special thing called running for president and to do it in a noble and pure way and to serve the people. That's such an amazing thing. I'm having so much fun knowing that we have real answers that'll solve problems for real people.
My goodness, that's a great thing to know. And I look forward to seeing you out on the campaign trail. Get involved. Help, please. We need it. Help your happy healer wherever you can. Help your happy healer. Make me your man, even though I'm a boy. But guess what? In order to be a man, you have to keep your boyhood and childhood about you or your girlhood because children know how to love and they don't do judgment and hate the way that adults have learned to do with that greed. Children exercise a very innocent kind of jealousy. You know, love and hate is so thin, the line between them, we know that. We often get confused by that because the very nature of greed is to confuse us. Remember, that's the power of the devil. And the deception is the very makeup of how the devil wins. You know that if the devil is winning, and you can see around in our world, it seems to be the devil is winning, well then you know that for him to win, his tools he uses, the greatest one of all, is deception. That is why God is love and truth. That is why in this campaign, we are the essence of God, love, and the essence of God, truth. And that, my fellow Americans, is why we bring Trump's people, people who love God, together with people who just love life. It's how we unite our country. It's how we're so confident in saying we have Trump's people. And also because in our campaign, the small representative we've been running for five months shows the larger truth, which is that if we were a national candidate, it would be the same way like it is now. We would have half of our people being Trump's people because that is who is and are Americans and they are with us in this campaign. And I'm happy to know that. God bless you all. You should also be happy to know that. And I believe and think you are. We shall do such amazing and special things together. That is why this is so fun. And I will continue having fun on this because I know that it answers and atones to the greatest hell that the American people, and for that matter, all people, have been dealing with because of the greed, the devil of the greed, it just is. You don't even have to look at it in a religious way. It's as factual as science is. We see its ugly tentacles all over everything, including science and including our health care, which is not health care, it's greed care. And so we will win this battle with light, with luminosity, and with love. I'll see you soon. Your Happy Healer for President, get over to www.happyhealerforpresident.com. Our time is of the essence because the essence of time is now. Let's get to work. God bless you and God bless your families too. Good afternoon, Mayor. Once again, it is Keith Landy, your here for President of the United States. I am so eager to work for our country, doing the things that I know we all deserve, Mayor. And what I'm quite eager to do is to win this election, to show the American people that I am the best choice for our future, but that by choosing me, we're choosing ourselves, and choosing we're choosing love, and we're choosing clarity, and we're choosing a vision. And that vision includes, sir, getting our country up to a new level of prosperity, including each and every city, taking on a new measure of hope, civility, institutionalized learning, so much work getting done from the ground up, and I intend to be working that stuff right here in Orlando, sir, because each person is needed in their home city. In addition to my own responsibilities in Orlando as President of the United States, I will set the standard, sir, and I look forward to working with you to do great things in our city, and I hope and wish and pray to our God Almighty that I have the exact opportunity to do that with you, sir, and that is precisely what we will do together for our magical Orlando, Florida, and that is hope and a future that we can all get excited about.
Mayor, it was great talking to you. It was my first time to get to meet you, despite having you as my sheriff for so long. I can't say why fate is acting the way it acts, but it puts us on a path together at this moment in time. Where is a citizen of your county, sir? We love Orange County. Orlando, beautiful. Your city, sir. It's my city. Indeed, it's our my city. We love Orlando, Florida. We love our home, sir. I get that, and we just want to make it the best we possibly can. Yeah. I want to empower Orlando to be its best from a federal level, together with all of our territory in the United States of America, to enact an agenda that is not only just self-sustenance, but that too, because we have to take care of humanity, but also an agenda that fixes our country, our infrastructure, to grow into a new future. We were talking the other day about Hurricane Dorian that was coming fast to our city. Of course, we prayed that baby away, but the reality of it is we can do so much better being prepared for things like hurricanes and weatherproofing the system better and using technology in ways that right now we are not doing and we are not budgeting for it and we are not accounting for it and we are not pushing for it. We are not hoping for it and it's not going to do it. And in the meantime, we're fighting and expending all of our energy on a pointless civil war that gets us nowhere, sir. And that's why I am running. And unfortunately, I did not have a chance to tell you that in person, given your busy schedule. And I intend to keep my schedule the exact same way. So I admire that. And I only hope, though, however, that we get a chance to get together in short order to talk about some of these things and so many more for our great city, sir. I would love to give you great ideas just for our home and for your job and that's an honor and a privilege and a pleasure of mine if you would allow me that opportunity we can do that and we could be better off for it and in this country sir i am going to continue putting my best foot forward i'm going to make the case to the american people i'm going to make the case to the people right here in orlando florida and i will not stop making that case mayor because the problems again so again Thank you, Mayor. Thank you for speaking out to your citizens, allowing us a voice in our own communities to speak out about the issues important to our families, our lives. Thank you for speaking to me in person. And let's build on that, please. I'm not giving up. I am living a life worth living. I am living for our future and for hope and to inspire young people and to inspire older people, too. We can all be inspired, sir. There is so much opportunity for us to get along and show love and show a way to the top of society in a loving way. We can all be top society. We can all matter. We can all have purpose and value to our core. And that's exactly the kind of president I would be. I would be the commander in chief. Sure. But I would also be your inspirer in chief, your happy healer for president. And that would be my greatest role and honor and privilege and charge to keep because the people need that. They need a happy healer who has clarity and who has a vision forward, who can not just possess calm and possess, but can inspire calm and inspire confidence, the confidence that we lack now. And so as your next president, sir, I plan to do all of that and so much more and I come in confident because I see the other candidates and I ask myself mayor I ask myself and I am seriously wondering which one of these candidates offer us a peaceful future one where we are not at war with ourselves this is a major question considering we are already in a soft civil war by most smart people's accounts so my question to you too mayor is do you think we are in a soft civil war a and B, what all we do about what it? all we do about that, sir? That we are in a soft civil war. Should we vote in candidates that are talking about continuing on that kind of hostility? Not having a plan that's reasonable and realistic to bring people together in order to promote our lives, the sustenance, the continuity of life itself in our country, the American way, our culture, our love, our children, even our parents. We could do so much to move so fast in that mayor is why I am in this race. It's why I came to see you tonight. So, Mayor, as I shook your hand, pondered upon me, you seem to be a great guy for Orange County. I am proud to have you as our mayor. I am proud to have voted for you as our mayor. I am proud to have had you as our sheriff. And I will continue to be proud as I work with you as our president and resident of Orange County, Florida, and this great United States of America. And I intend to forge with you, sir, a partnership 
bonded in love for our country, our people, and our way of life. We, sir, can do it. We can show them how it's done right here in Orange County. I look forward to becoming the next president and doing my part at my hometown, too. Because we all have so much work to do, all of our own hometowns, to lift this country to new heights in ways that will affect every soul, because everybody matters in the America that your happy, happy healer will be the president, given God's mercy upon the people of our country needing these changes so bad coupled with the opportunity coming together with the historical times we are in i'm confident sir i have the right answers for our future there is nobody in this race right that is more qualified than me keith landy for president of the united states your happy healer in recognizing and realizing that this country needs a happy healer you know this when families are at each other's throats over politics and when we have our own homegrown white nationalist terrorism we know we then therefore we need a a happy healer. Let's fix our spirit and raise our country to new heights. Let's change this place we call home. Let's make it our home that we can all be proud of. Thank you, Mayor. I'm so excited to have met you. I will be reaching out to your office. God bless you. God bless all Orlandoans. And may we all have a very safe, wholesome, and productive morning and afternoon as so far as your Wednesday work day goes. And then not to mention thereafter your little bit of family time left you spend with your family. In the new world, we will have a system that puts humanity first above capitalism we shall take care of humanity humanity will have the time to spend time together with one another in their families we will build and sustain an economy that can support a 21st century super consumer that will be the representation of humanity in america that's what american exceptionalism will look like repaid in the 21st century and that is what a happy healer presidency will look like no more civil war unity with one nation being under our creator, God Almighty, working for a future sustainable for one country to live in peace and love so as to exercise its self-determination to do exactly that in freedom. And unless we get away from this civil war and what I like to call our freedom warfare and hateful insanity we see everywhere, we better therefore work every day between now and the election to make your happy healer the next president of the United States so that we can atone these conditions for the American people and we can serve this middle class, we can bring so many people together in unity we can put humanity over capitalism and capitalism 2.0 we will get each american family as i have always said five thousand dollars for a family of four or for head of households we'll have an accounting of twenty five hundred dollars people deserve to have a life worth living in the richest country in the world, we will make that possible. And we will also make it possible to have your time so that what American exceptionalism looks like repaid is clear in a landy presidency. Go and make them spank their behinds. That's what the evil people is trying to get God people to come on their side so they can overpower God people. That's right, you know. Yeah, that's the battle that's going on right now. And right now, it appears that the evil ones are winning, but they're not because the love is so strong when it takes off, it doesn't need but one ounce of the energy compared to a million pounds of the the love wings. And the love is a self-feedback force loop. It makes everybody matter and have purpose and value. And that is something greed will never be able to do in an organization. This country becomes a loving organization. You know that's what I'm building, right? Albert, it's not enough to say, oh, we need love and we need to solve racism. Let's have more laws. No, we need to change as human beings. And you know that I'm bringing this country on a loving agenda, on a loving journey, on a loving solution to the hell that we have built, to the greed that we have accepted. We will all change, we will all atone, and we will all have so much more because of it. Not just will we end up with all of those greedy ones who felt they had to steal using greed to have nice things, a nice home, provide for their family. They'll have in the loving world twice as much as what they have now. Except for because they stole it, they're the only ones with it now. And that's why I get so angry at them, because they're stealing so much from themselves and from everyone else too. Them greedy bastards.